Welcome back to Wednesday Night Zombie Fever on 2BACL 100.9 FM. First up, I have to apologise. For everybody who wants to relive the bear attack and my psychic prediction, the show wasn't being recorded at that point. If anyone does have a recording, I've got questions for you because it's suspicious. But also give it to me because I don't have them. (laughs) Uh, We also have to explain something that we posted on our Facebook page before. Uh, which people have been questioning. Basically, earlier in the show, which no one listening to this recording now is going to know, I used the word fricking in response to some technical problems involving iTunes. And there was a question amongst us here as to whether or not that constituted swearing. Which I don't think it did. No, right. Uh, Bridget said it's a bit iffy. You probably shouldn't use it. But that led us to talk about the word fracking, which... It's a Battlestar Galactica square word. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's also an actual term. It's a scientific term as well. Yes. Yes, but it's spelled differently, I should point out. <laughs> so fracking is something that people often substitute for salty language, but it's actually used for uh, coal seam gas mining. Yes, and we thought it was hilariously funny if you substitute fracking So put in yourself these... in the Battlestar Galactica world. <laughs> yeah, if you substitute fracking with the actual... The actual word. word, yeah. Yes, we all know what the word is. We do. <laughs> yeah, uh, but because fracking is obviously an actual thing, and it's been in the media a lot recently, because of all of the environmental concerns, I was just going to educate the people as to some of the headlines. Yes, and remember people, just think of this these headlines in the context of the actual swear word, because yes. it's funnier that way. I'm just trying to educate, these two are being immature when I say... Fracking can take place in desolate northeast England, according to the Tories. <laughs> the Guardian reports that fracking the nation, <laughs> the dash for gas, <laughs> rural Britain. Fracking protests continue in Sussex Village. A Saudi prince says fracking is threat to kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> From the US, Obama plans huge fracking expansion. <laughs> uh, this is another one. PG&E's CEO says tougher rules are needed on fracking. <laughs> Fracking finally kill off rural America. <laughs> I think that's the best one. <laughs> <coughs> and then there's the one that we have posted on the Facebook page. Because there's been a lot of protests about this. Police accused of using excessive force during... <laughs> Fracking protest. <laughs> so now that we all know what fracking is, I think we can all we can all safely say that it is a serious issue. <laughs> we can say that coal seam gas mining is a very controversial issue. It's yes. also fracking is very funny. <laughs> it's fracking funny, which people are taking very seriously, and fracking goes all the way to the top. <laughs> <laughs> all right, but. So, <laughs> moving straight on from swearing, um, 90s children's TV. <laughs> so, the top of that tab said, frack, fracking, go- <laughs> fracking Google search. <laughs> <laughs> yep, 90s television, good clean fun. Children's show. Ch- children, no more fracking. <laughs> Did you know that the girl who played the youngest daughter on 7th Heaven, is now posing for Maxim. She's 23. Wow. Really? She's younger than us. Was that Ruby oh, or Ruthie? Or... It was Ruthie. 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 Yeah. That show's still on TV. That show is so bad. <laughs> but we're talking about children's shows, and that's not really a children's show. Kind of a... um. It's a tween. Yeah. Trying it, to get It's the Brady Bunch be... of the 90s. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. Not, not a good show. So yeah, children's shows. When you think children's show, what's your go-to show? Angry I think of... Beavers. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> um, <laughs> Toluca. <laughs> Both my ankles. Sorry. I love that show so much. If anybody doesn't know Angry Beavers, please go out and watch it. It's hilarious. Yes. Um, I think of... 
I think of um, Captain Planet. Yeah, Captain mm. Planet was a big one. Lots of famous people in Captain Planet too, actually. That if you know, I think it was Meg Ryan was in it. Um, oh, heaps of famous people. Mm. Can't yeah. think of any right now. Well, Captain Goldberg. Planet would definitely oppose fracking. Uh, Whoopi Goldberg, yes. Whoopi Goldberg was in it. Um, what's that? That guy. He's also in C- uh, not CSI. Laura Jeff Norton. Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum was in it. Yeah. Yeah. He he's in a it. villain. Oh, he has a good voice. He does. Yeah. I also think of Gummy Bears, which wasn't a hugely popular show. I think you sort of had to have pay TV. Yeah, I never got to watch Gummy Bears. I think it was on the Disney Channel or something, yeah. but I always wanted to. And occasionally it'd be on, you know. Very rarely. Saturday it was such Disney. a highlight. It yeah. really was. How about Care Bears? Care Bears, was, I think that's even too old for us. I never watched Care Bears. Well, I'm a little older than you two. By Very we. little. <laughs> So I do remember some Care Bears. Uh, also, um, Power Rangers. Power Rangers. Yep. I remember actually at school, um, during primary school, that there was controversy surrounding Power Rangers. Really? It should be banned from TV because kids <laughs> were playing Power Rangers in the um, playground and hurting each other. Uh, they're probably crying now. <laughs> Look at the kids. <laughs> But um, it's still going. They're still it's making going. series of Power Rangers. Yeah, there's there's like 10 different... You know, Power Rangers, Samurai, Power Rangers, Ninja. Oh, I think there's about 20. (laughs) Isn't it like the 20th anniversary? We're talking the original and the best Power Rangers, which is Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Yes. It's the the same, isn't it? They defeat something. And then they have to, like, then that thing gets bigger, so they have to, you know, unite. Call in the robots, yeah. Yeah. The robot thing, yeah. Um, Yeah, they're they're the shows I think of as well when I think of shows I used to watch as a, a. Little kid. Also, Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> I never watched Winnie the Pooh as a kid. I loved Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> there was one that I loved to watch, um, which is called Pirates of the Dark Water. And I don't think many people remember it, but it was on... Um, no. What was the the rival to Cheese TV when we were kids? Uh, cartoon Cartoon Net- Connection? Oh, uh, yes. Mm. Yeah, with the one with uh, the puppet, the angry, grouchy thing, whatever it was called. Anyway, I don't remember. Yep. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But uh, yeah, it was called Pirates, Pirates of the Dark Water, and it never finished because it didn't have enough. Uh, it didn't have enough ratings, but it was so so good at the time. It's really bad now. If you watch clips of it, it's really bad. But I absolutely loved it as a kid. Do you have any memories, Rachel? When I think of like me as a really young kid, I think of Johnson and Friends. Oh, Johnson and oh. Friends. Super Ted. Super Ted too. Yeah. Banana Man. Banana Man. He had a banana phone. Yeah, and he said his you know rival was <laughs> Apple Man. Do you reckon Super Ted was just some executive's way of trying to sort of <laughs> make Superman appeal to really young kids? Because he was an alien. No, he wasn't. Well, he was like, didn't his he... friend was an alien? But didn't he get his powers from outer space or what? No. Well, his friend came like he was a rejected teddy bear. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then his friend came, which down was the from saddest space. opening ever. Yeah. yeah. I think that's what prepared our Spotty. generation for Up. His friend's name was Spotty. Anyway. Um, came the down dog from out, of, out of space and brought him to life and he had superpowers from his alien friend. Hmm. All I remember is the part where he's getting rejected. <laughs> yeah, I remember that too. Also, um, there was a show that I liked called Darkwing Duck. Darkwing Duck was the best. Let's oh, get um, dangerous. <laughs> Agro. Agro, that's uh, the one, yeah. yeah. Thanks, okay. Charles, for that one. Thanks, Charles. <laughs> yeah, that time. Um, I didn't ever really watch that show except for... Um, Parts of the Dark Water. Uh, I remember Sailor Moon was on that show. Oh yeah. Um, otherwise, I'd watch Cheese TV and I'd Sailor watch Moon. the original series of Pokemon as a kid. I still have Sailor Moon on video. <laughs> oh my god. Um, I, I don't know actually, why. Um, when Pokemon first came out, I think we were in year five because the Pokemon craze was massive then. So that would have been mm. about 1999. I think it was year four. Well, obviously, Possibly. it came to her school before ours. Well, because I remember like, in year light. five it was really big because that's when it was banned as well. That's when all the Pokemon cards were out. So it's possibly 1994 it started. Um, no, 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 sorry, 1994. 1998 it started. I'm not sure. I, yeah. I don't think this is our debate. Yeah. Anyway, um, I remember that we had to leave for school before Pokemon started. So we'd put the tape in and tape Pokemon from TV, and then tape everything that came after it until the tape finished. <laughs> and then we get home and watch Pokemon, and then there'd be, after that, there'd be, like, what's in the box for really little children and stuff like that. Um, but I think kids' TV shows, 
kind of gone downhill. I think it's about the same, but when you're looking at it from an adult perspective, I you're always know. more critical. I think that our TV shows as kids had better storylines than, you know, oh, Peppa Pig's got to go play in the mud now. You know, I think... I don't know. I think that probably adults who were, you know, obviously watching us, watching our TV shows, were probably going, what dumbasses have we created that we have to watch these TV shows? Yeah, I remember actually my mum saying how bad Power Rangers was, and I'm like, we loved it as kids, and even the Ninja Turtles, which is an awesome show. I watched the other day, the actual, uh, I think it was like the first series ever as a cartoon or something, and um, it was really, really bad. I mean, I love Ninja Turtles, yeah. but it was really bad. Like, it just didn't make sense bad. I think <laughs> like Dinosaurs all- bad. There's also a larger number of shows, it seems, Yeah, that's being made. Yeah, I don't know if the quality's the same. I, I would say for a lot of them, it would be very low budget and just... Yeah. But many of our shows that we watched as kids were low budget, too. Hmm. But look at... Oh, Real Monsters. That was an awesome that show. That was a good Real show. Monsters. But you don't get anything like that. Oh, what's under the trap door? The trap yes. door, yeah. the trap door, yeah. But it's going to scare the little Sorry, kitties now. You don't get any... You get all those, you know... They're a bit too sensitive now. Everybody's got, like, moshy monsters and, and... And just really stupid things. I think... I don't think that people days, got the same thing about Pokemon. Yeah, but I think Pokemon really started it all. Because these days, you get a lot of shows that are, um, I don't know, they kind of gear kids into collecting yeah. um, products for the show. It's definitely an entire Yeah, a entire kind of franchise yeah. kind of, well, you've got the TV show, and now here's all the merchandise that you have to buy. You can bring it home and yeah. play. Or like, you know, any of those things where, yeah, like, let's collect, and even Disney's getting into it now. With, um, I think Disney started it, really. Disney are very had, big on merch. Yeah. yeah, when they had their Disney shows and then, obviously, the music and everything with it. And they were really good yeah. at making that kind of but there is a, jump um, to that franchise. There's a, a game coming out uh, in the near future called Disney Infinity. Um, and it's basically an uh, upgrade of the Skylanders game. Like It's kind of that kind of um, same concept. If anybody doesn't know what Skylanders is, basically you get a character... And you've got a portal, and you put the character on the portal, and that character will appear in your game. Disney is doing the same thing. So they've got this little pad thing where you get your Disney character. Um, say, like you know, maybe it's Jack Sparrow, maybe it's Sully from uh, from Monsters Inc. Uh, you know, the Beast from Beauty and the Beast. You get your character, you put it on the little thing, and you can, then you can play that person in the game. And I think that that kind of whole merchandise thing we didn't have a lot as kids. Because I remember, you know, we didn't. You could go and buy a real monsters toy, but how how common were they, really? You know mm. what I mean? You couldn't buy anything from the the trap door or Banana <coughs> Man or you know Super Ted. Super Ted. If you could, they're probably worth a twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Yeah. <laughs> not that much. So I think it's a real like uh, commercial. <coughs> not not commercial. It's more less about kids entertainment and more about making money. I think. I think it's always been about making money. Yeah. It's called television. Maybe they tried harder, though, when we were kids. I yeah. feel like, you know. Well, I think Disney movies have gone down in quality. Oh, definitely. I mean, really? Up. Oh, Up was good. Toy Story. Three. Was Up Disney or Pixar? I think it was Disney, Disney and Pixar. Pixar. Yeah. Okay, but did Disney make it and Disney distribute it? Did, I don't know. It's got the Disney name Disney. on it. <laughs> because they do, they, you know, get films... And just distribute it. They don't actually make it. Mm. And Up was different animation to what they normally do. But anyway, yeah. um, they aren't making any cartoon movies. They yeah, ma- they decided to stop making cartoons. Yeah. Which is disappointing, I think. I it loved is. Disney cartoons as a kid. Because The Lone Ranger apparently didn't do very well. That's Disney. Um, yeah. The movie before that was John Mars. Was John it John Mars. Mars? John Carter. John Carter from Mars. He went Mars. to Mars. Yeah. yeah. Um, that flopped. What about really bad, a little movie called The Avengers? That was also distributed by Disney, made by Marvel. Yeah. But Disney was very much involved in that, in the production of it. Marvel produced it. Disney distributed it. Mm. I still think Disney movies have quality. I don't think it's fair to say well, but Disney movies now are terrible. If these movies that you're mentioning are not cartoons, though. So no. I don't understand why Disney's like, let's move away from cartoons and make more of these movies when those movies are the ones that are flopping. 
well, that's people were also what they're very, probably finding out. Yeah. People were also very critical of the princess and the frog. I actually haven't and seen that. of Brave. Like, people were also... I liked Brave, though. Kind of critical of those two, though. Mm, a lot of people said Brave was, like, the worst Disney cartoon. I didn't think I so. I thought it was quite good. I heard it was, like, it was very popular. Mm, well, kids. I've heard bad things about it, but I, I quite liked it. I thought it was pretty good. Well, I haven't seen it, so mm. I don't know. But, yeah, I don't know. The Disney cartoons when we were... But you've got to remember that a lot of the ones that came that we watched as kids weren't brought out when we were kids as well. So you've got like your Snow White and Peter Pan and um, there's a whole bunch of other ones that came out before we were even born. Yeah. You know, and then you've got the ones that we were really little, like The Little Mermaid and... Uh, like Aladdin Beauty came out Beast, in Aladdin. 92? Yeah, I remember mm. seeing that at the movies. Me too. Um, But I only remember one scene. And that's a bit where uh, Apu, Apu is sleeping. Abu, sorry, is sleeping. And there's like a drool <laughs> coming out. <laughs> Because I thought that was hilarious. But I remember seeing... I uh, vaguely remember seeing Little Mermaid, the movies, and I remember seeing Beauty of the Beast because I watched that over and over and over again. I remember getting scared in Aladdin when the genie came out of the lamp, and I think we left. <laughs> <laughs> but I remember seeing Bambi, which I hated, and all those kind of shows. But I think these are the kind of shows that kids should be watching. You know? they re- I don't know if um, those kind of cartoons, they don't seem to appeal as much. But is that because the kids haven't been brought up with them? Yeah. I feel like if I had a kid and I brought them up on Disney cartoons, and that's the kind of stuff they would like. And you just censored <laughs> the, um You're not allowed to watch TV. I'm only. I'm just telling you, you're allowed to watch only these cartoons that I give you. And you're Anime in the car, and Disney, and that's it. And you see a poster for an upcoming movie, and you're like, forget about it. No, it's no, nothing. No, no, it's not. No, it's not anything. It's not real. No. But I think people say the same thing about our generation. Like, oh, they didn't grow up watching all of these '80s movies, so. They're missing out, or... I don't know about 80s movies. Well, like, you know, they'd say, oh, well, they were watching American Pie instead of... I haven't seen American Pie. Bueller's Day Off. In terms of movies that came out while we were growing up. Yeah, I suppose that's true We definitely have our fair share of bad movies. Yeah. I'm not saying everything's good. But, you know, kids' cartoons, I I think we're always going to look back on the past and go, that was better than now. Yeah, but can't can't you say that, you know... um, Beauty and the Beast was better than Mulan 2. Yeah, if you want to compare one thing to, like, one other thing, we can't compare it as an entire group. Yeah, but I think... Everything that's produced now is horrible. Oh, I'm not saying that. Definitely not saying that. (laughs) But I feel like... um, I don't know if it's just production of these kind of shows that are aimed at kids are being dumbed down. Because people aren't really, like... I don't know, they're not trying anymore. Because I think kids will like anything. Let's just give them anything. And then try and make money off them. Make a crappy TV show and the kids will come. Yeah, the kids definitely have <laughs> shorter attention spans these days. Oh, 100%. That's got to do with a whole bunch of different stuff on the internet. They've got 140 time. characters of attention span. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Twitter. Anyway, <laughs> let's move on to our next series of songs. Yeah, we'll be right back after some Snow Patrol and the White Stripes on 2BACR 100.9 FM. Hey, welcome back to Wednesday Night Zombie Fever on 2BACR 100.9 FM. Okay, so uh, last week we had a topic that we were going to talk about that we didn't get time for. Uh, so we'll talk about it briefly mm-hmm. today. Um, and that's flags and coat of arms. So, yes. um Do you like our coat of arms? <laughs> yeah, do you like our flag? There's lots of... Um, well, there used to be, when we were at school anyway, um, a lot of you know people saying that the flag should be changed, we shouldn't have the Union Jack on there and all this kind of stuff. Yep. Um, and I don't know that... Does anybody out there really remember what our coat of arms is? No, it's, got the it's the emu, emu and the kangaroo. Yeah. And my... The two most fearsome animals in the land. <laughs> <laughs> After bears. Um, <laughs> the coat of arms, I don't know. The, to look at it, it's attack. not a bad <laughs> it's not a bad coat of arms. I don't mind it. But I just thought that having the emu on there was a little bit strange. Um, yeah, we should have something more fierce. I don't yeah, think it necessarily has to be fierce. Well, no, but I just think the emu was a weird animal to... What other reason. animal would you pick? You wouldn't pick a galah. No. No. Do you want to pick a platypus? But, I mean, if you, a but you need something that you need to be in proportion yeah, with, the with the kangaroo. kangaroo. You could just make it bigger. It's a coat of arms. A massive wombat. <laughs> a giant Tasmanian Didn't we used devil. to have all these giant animals? Yes, we did, actually. Maybe instead of like an like real-looking Tasmanian devil, but like that Looney Tunes Tassie devil. Oh, yeah. That'd be awesome. <laughs> he used to spin. Um, 
Yeah, so, you know, well, the coat of arms is nice, though. I I think I like is. it, yeah. Um, But the flag. So we'll, we'll talk mainly about the flag. The flag, yes. Yes. <laughs> Do you think it should be changed or should we keep it the way it is? And if you think it should be changed, what, what to? Well, I think it's fine. So the second part is irrelevant. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I understand why people would want it to be changed. Um, it's also sort of tied in with, do we want to become a republic? Yeah, that's true. Um, but it is part of, it's part of the majority of our heritage. I mean, obviously, if you're Aboriginal, having the Union Jack on there. <laughs> uh, I mean, but also, they, like, uh, you know, if you were a convict, having the Union Jack on there could be a bit imposing as well. Yeah, but nobody's a convict any like convict anymore. It doesn't really apply. But yeah. I think it's similar in terms of what the Union Jack represents. But it's also the like we're a multicultural country now, definitely. Yeah. Um not all of us have the British or Irish heritage um or any of that kind of area. But mm. but it's it's I think the Union Jack I think it should stay because I think our society today that's basically where it comes from. You know, if we didn't have those, uh, you know, the convicts coming here or, you know, the British settlers or, you know, all those people in the beginning, then we our, our country would be completely different. You know what I mean? So I think that Union Jack, no matter really what it represents to different people, I think it's valid to be there. Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. And particularly since, okay, until we are a republic... I think it should stay there because technically the Queen is our um, head of state. state. Yeah, even after though. Okay, so if we did become a republic, do you think it should change? I mean, if that should change, then would they change everything? Like, you'd still have the Queen Victoria building, for example. Yeah, yeah. You'd still have the statue of Queen Victoria outside. Somebody different on the back of our coins. We're not going to demolish everything that has to do with it. Rename everything. But I still think that a lot of people would protest changing the flag because a lot of, you know, army people are like, well, this is the flag that we fought under and this represents our country and why should we change it in any way, even if we did become a republic. And I kind of, I tend to agree with that. I don't think the flag should change, even if we I'm do. fine with it changing. I mean, sorry, I'm fine with it staying the same. <laughs> That's a two very different sides of the coin there. <laughs> I'm fine with it staying the same. Um, one side of that coin has Queen Elizabeth on it. <laughs> Yes, I'm fine with it, like I was trying to say. But um, I understand why some people would want it to change. I, I get that too, but yeah. I'm probably for <laughs> keeping it. Well, I think the psychic definitely... debate was so much more heated than all of us agreeing to keep the flag. <laughs> <laughs> to me, it doesn't really make any sense for anyone. Like, if, it's, if the country, for example, you know, you have those people in Europe and all the boundaries have changed, all the borders have changed, and they could live in the same place and have lived in, like, six countries. Yeah. Isn't there a part of Europe, like, there's some city in Europe where there's, like, one country within another country, but then on the outside of that country as well? So it's not, like, a smaller country inside a bigger country, but there's, like, part of a country is inside... Another country? A ring of Possibly. Just... It would be like if Tasmania were actually in the middle of the US. And then part of the US were in that part of Tasmania again. So there's like, like, yeah, just an American, like American bit of country, then an Australian bit of country, and then more America around it. Yeah. Okay. Well, Alaska's <laughs> kind of off to the side. Yeah, Alaska's not attached. <laughs> Neither is Hawaii, but that's an island, so it doesn't really count. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and we have like little islands and... Tasmania. Yeah. <laughs> we do have just, Tasmania. Just a little island down the bottom. Yeah. I love Tasmania. It's really nice. <coughs> anyway. Apparently it is really good. And cheap. Can you um, imagine how go. long it's going to take to phase the queen off of our coins when she dies and we need to get... Um, Prince Charles. No, it'll be King Charles. And King Charles, yeah. King Charles. On the back of our coins. I think people would prefer King William. Possibly. Although, would we would. have his receding hairline on the back of our coin? I, I think we prefer... see it. <laughs> The side view, or they'll yeah, well, just improve you can see, it. He looks like he has his full head of hair on the side. Yeah, it's just got a big patch on the back and slowly disappearing on the front. I'm sure he just approve whatever coin image he wants. Yes, maybe he'd give, he'd give himself a full like afro. <laughs> <laughs> I think, 
I hope there is at least one novelty <laughs> coin with an afro on it. I what can't they do think, novelty coins? I don't think Prince William, who named his son George, a traditional name. George Alexander, by the way. You were spot on with that one, Bridget. Didn't you guess Alexander or Alexandria or something? Alexander was being tipped as a... Yeah. Po- yeah. yeah. Um, George but Alexander George was... Louis. Yeah. Hmm. Or Cambridge. Wasn't William's middle name Louis? I don't know, know, but it does bear a resemblance (laughs) to a certain Costanza. (laughs) Uh, What's his name? Jason Alexander. Yes. George in Seinfeld. George Lewis Costanza, isn't it? Is it? I I didn't know it was Lewis. I read that somewhere. I Uh don't know if it's accurate, but uh, there's already internet memes where they've photoshopped (laughs) George Costanza's head onto the baby. Oh, that poor baby. Can you imagine when it's like 16 or 17 that she sings these yes. memes from when it was born? Actually, I love yeah, it. None of the other royals really had to like grow up with the memes. Yeah. It really just started you, in the late 90s. Do you know what I find funny? Countries that don't have any connection to, um, or, or the queen is not their monarch or, you know, like America, mm. they're still really big on this baby news. They've really like, bought into the royal family in Britain, like, yeah. in a huge way. They've gone nuts. Yeah. I think it's because they're, like, celebrities to them. They're oh, not, like, maybe. you know, they're not royalty royals. in the same way that they are. They're just, like, yeah, it's a celebrity fascination with them. Their royals that, are celebrities, yeah. I, I don't know that the people here really care. Well, not the kit that they care. They care probably um, about as much as they care about any kind of news that happens but mm. it's not really a personal thing to us as it would be to like dangerous British. fracking practices in various regions <laughs> yes that <laughs> tom affects us all <laughs> lightly um yes those fracking practices um yeah but <laughs> what fracking news, means to you <laughs> the amount of news i saw uh, american news on the british baby was uh was surprising to me Apparently it's all over the world. Ever since, uh, it's Kate and, Kate and Wills. Kate and Wills. Wills, not even William. It's yeah. Kate and Wills. It's They're the, yeah. obsessed. I don't know why. They've got the Kardashians. Why can't they just leave them be? Uh, because <laughs> the their alternative is the Kardashians. <laughs> yeah, the but it's America. <laughs> if I had to choose watching, you know, Kate and William or the Kardashians... I'd probably definitely choose the Kardashians. Who wouldn't? Actually, I don't know. The Kardashians probably would be much more entertaining. I, yeah. Like, probably, like, Will and Kate would just be standing there smiling and waving and looking polite. I wouldn't as... choose the Kardashians as I was being sarcastic, by the way. No, yeah, I think I, I would I genuinely choose them. I actually think I would choose the Kardashians because I don't want to watch Kate and Wills <laughs> sit around and be like, Oh, what shall we call the baby? Well, at least they bought George! a little bit, you know. <laughs> I don't know if that's quite how it happened. A little less. Well, we don't know because we don't have the royal reality show. (laughs) I think they'd be a little bit less mind numbing than the Kardashians. Well, the Kardashians would have been like, let's call him North. Oh, is it is it a boy or a girl? Northwest. Who cares? Boy. boy, North is a neutral baby name. Yeah, let's call him North. Northwest, because it's funny. Then across the Atlantic, George. George Alexander. George Alexander Louis. Yeah, I'm sure if, like, the Kardashian baby had more names, it would have been (laughs) South East, (laughs) West. (laughs) (laughs) Why didn't they do that? That's awesome. (laughs) We'll be back after our last song. I haven't played this one in a while. It's The Pigs on TBCR 100.9 FM. Okay, so that's all we've got time for on this week's show. Uh, Join us next week at 9 o'clock. And we'll be talking about viral clips. Clips going viral on the internet. That's viral, not vile. I said viral, didn't I? I know. Okay. I, I heard it as vile. <laughs> vile clips. Anything really bad. No. Uh, we'll also try to bring you another installment of When Animals Attack. Yes. We'll work on it. Yeah. <laughs> so, if you can suggest an animal you'd like to attack us. Uh, <laughs> if you want to know how Facebook. to survive any particular animal attack, let us know and we will educate the masses. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so that's all we've got time for. Don't forget to tune in on Monday and Tuesday mornings for Breakfast with Rachel. Uh, it starts at 7 and ends at 9 o'clock on both of those days. Unless Rachel's lazy and then she comes in at 8. Yeah. <laughs>
Never. Or just stays home. <laughs> but that's all we've got time for tonight, guys. So see you next week. Bye. Bye, Bye guys. <laughs>